So hi everyone and a very good morning to all of you. Welcome back once again to another session of PIB 247. In today's session, we are going to talk about the PIB news from 10th and 11th of October 2022. And I hope your preparations for Nabad grade A phase 2 are going on. And jitna bhi mehnat kar sakte ho, whatever hard work you can do, just do it now because this is the right time guys. If you are not working hard, then you are just losing out a golden opportunity, right? So all the very best for the preparation and let's move ahead towards the session. And before we begin, guys, if you want to have the PDF of this session, you can join the Telegram channel. The link is provided in the description. You will get the PDF with marked answers. And if you want to ask anything related to examination, you can follow me on Instagram and Telegram at Mashi Manish, M-A-S-H-Y, M-A-N-I-S-H. All right. So let's talk about the very first question. Very, very important question. I believe this question is going to come in your examination. If you have not question paper, right? So definitely they are going to include this question. 100%. And in RBI grade B 2023, RBI grade B 2023, already leak question already leaked. Okay. So consider the following statements with respect to Tele Manas initiative and you have to identify the correct statement. If you remember guys, Government of India in Union Budget 2023 announced that they are going to launch a free tele mental health service, right? Tele mental health service, उन्होंने बोला था कि वो लोग launch करेंगे, which will be, uh, you know, implemented by Nimhans, which will be implemented by Nimhans, and this is the initiative, right? यही वो initiative है जो कि Government of India ने announce किया था, and now they have launched it, and they have named it as what? Tele Manas, right? And there is a full form of Manas as well. Tele is already there. MANA stands for Mental Health Assistance and Networking Across States. Right? Let me uh, rub all this. Okay, so what is the full form of MANAS? It is Mental Health Assistance and Networking Across States. That is the full form. Now, the objective of this initiative, guys, is very clear. It is for providing free tele mental health services across the country, especially in the rural and remote areas, which areas, uh, the areas which are unserved and underserved, right? It includes a network of 23 tele-mental health centers of excellence. So there will be 23 mental health centers of excellence, uh, which will provide services uh, regarding uh, mental health to the citizens, right? And under it, the government has planned to open at least one tele cell in each state or UT. Her state or UT may ek tele cell banai jayega, right? Then moving ahead, the nodal implementing center, it is NIMHAS, that's National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosciences, which is located in Bangalore. Technology support will be provided by International Institute of Information Technology, which is again in Bangalore, IIIT. And then technical support is provided, will be provided by two institutes, that is IIT Bangalore and National Health System Resources Center. All right. So do remember these three important facts. These are very, very important. And remember this initiative will be implemented in two tiers, right? In tier one, uh, the tier one implementation level comprises state tele manas cells consisting of trained counselors and mental health specialists, right? Let's say if I have any mental health issue, then I will uh, go to these tele manas cells, right? These tele manas cells, which uh, will consist of trained counselors and mental health specialists. So they will counsel me, right? They will counsel me. If my mental health problem gets resolved at this stage, then there is no problem. Then if, if, if it is not, if you think that my mental health problem is not solved in tier 1, solve nahi hoti hai, then there is a tier 2 level of, implement, uh, uh, level of implementation which comprises specialist at district mental health program medic or medical college, resources for physical consultation and or e-sanjeevni for audio visual consultation. So basically the idea is first of all primarily uh, if any person going through the mental health problems uh, will go, uh, will undergo the treatment in, in this tier one model, right? And if the problem is not solved here, then the patient will be referred to the tier two level. All right. So that is the idea. And initially it will provide basic support and counseling through IVRS system, which is customized for use across all the states and UDs. It will help provide in, uh, it will help in providing immediate healthcare services and facilitate the continuum of care and the initial services can be availed at toll free helpline number which is 14416 and this number. Now of course they are not going to ask number in your examination what is the toll free number but yes 
you should remember it being an aware citizen right let's move back to the question now i hope this news is clear you have to identify the correct statement all right niyamans is the nodal implementing agency this is absolutely correct no problem telemanas includes a network of 25 telemental health centers of excellence see there are telemental health centers of excellence but not 25 the number is 23 and the initiative will be implemented in two tiers this is absolutely correct and if you have to identify the correct statement which means option c only one and three will be the correct answer all right i hope guys this is clear and please isme jo jo humne padha hai usko yaad rakhna it is very very important which of the following statements is are correct regarding bsc sme platform now first of all is it a new platform no the answer is no it is not a new platform right it is being it is in it is under implementation since 2012 then why we are discussing about it it must be in news right so it is in news because minister of commerce and industry piyush goel attended the listing celebration of 400th company in this platform now of course they are not going to ask anything from this news because this is not important but since bsc sme platform is is in news they can ask you anything from this platform right so this platform guys remember was launched in the year 2012 with an objective of enabling listing of small and medium sized enterprises from the unorganized sector jo unorganized sector ke uh, small or medium sized enterprises hai unko list karne ke liye this platform was launched and thereby converting them into regulated and organized sector right uh, it was set up under rules and regulation laid down by sebi of course and these are the benefits that this platform provides to the smes it allows listed smes to foray into the world of finance for their growth and development of course when they are a listed company they can raise uh, money they can raise equity capital right and that equity capital can be used for their growth and development right assist smes to raise equity capital for their growth and expansion as i already told you and it will enable it has enabled smes to migrate into the main board of bsc as per the existing rules and regulations right so these are some of the benefits which are being provided by bsc sme platform to the small and medium enterprises and that is all about this news and now let's come back to the question we have to identify the correct statement so it was it was launched in march 2012 by bsc limited correct no problem it was set up under rules and regulation laid down by rbi is that so no that's sebi it enables listing of smes from the unorganized sector into a regulated and organized sector this is correct no problem with it and it allows listed smes to raise equity capital for their growth and expansion this is also correct so 1 3 and 4 should be the correct answer once again option c is the correct answer i hope this is clear now let's talk about question number 3 fourth edition of heli india summit 2022 was recently held with the theme helicopters for last mile connectivity in srinagar in jammu and kashmir During the summit, helicopter emergency medical service has been launched. Through this service, helicopters will be deployed to provide emergency medical services at which of the following aims? All right, so that is the question. So let's talk about it. Remember, Minister of Civil Aviation, who is Mr. Jyoti Raditya Sindhya, he has inaugurated the fourth edition of Heli India Summit 2022, and it took place in Srinagar in Jammu and Kashmir. Right. The theme was this: helicopters for last mile connectivity. and remember this summit was organized to create a world class helicopter manufacturing ecosystem in india basically to discuss how we can create a world class helicopter manufacturing ecosystem in the country and also uh, this summit has provided a common platform for all the stakeholders to discuss the growth story of all the indian helicopter industry all right now during this event this initiative was launched helicopter emergency medical service which is also known as project sanjeevani now please don't confuse it with e sanjeevani e sanjeevani is the uh, you know online or you can say video consultation uh, services provided by the ministry of health and family welfare right and under this uh, hems helicopters will be deployed to provide emergency medical services at aims rishikesh right so this has been launched for rishikesh wala aims right and it will have a service cover to an area of 150 km radius all right and then one more thing was launched guidelines of fractional ownership model now what is this model fractional ownership model kya hota hai ye 
So this model allow companies and individuals to minimize their capital outflow by sharing the purchase cost. So let's say there are uh, five people who want to invest in the helicopter industry, right? But they don't have enough amount to invest uh, to invest individually. So what will happen under this model? These five will collaborate. These these five entities will collaborate, and together they will buy or they will start uh, a, a business uh, regarding helicopters, right? So this is the fractional ownership model, and it aims to lower the cost of acquisition of helicopters and airplanes through pooled capital by multiple owners. Of course, when they are collaborating to buy a to buy a helicopter, then of course uh, the individual cost of acquisition will go down, right? So that is all, and therefore the correct answer is option B. Aims Rishi K. Moving ahead to question number four. There are all uh, total ten questions today, guys, right? Department for Promotion of Industrial Internal Trade, which in short is DPIIT, has hosted conference on B20 Indonesia Global Dialogue in New to in New Delhi. The conference took place with the name of aligning the perspective of Indian industry with the policy recommendations of B20 Indonesia. With which of the following industry bodies the conference has been organized? Right. So first of all, let's talk about what is this B20. B20 stands for Business 20. Right. So it is the official G20 dialogue forum with the global business community. Basically, you can say it is the business arm of G20. It is the business arm of G20, right? And it is known as what B20, Business 20, right? It was formed in the year 2010, and its mandate is to provide policy recommendation from business point of view to G20 countries, right? And now the DPIT has con uh, uh, has hosted the conference on B20 Indonesia Global Dialogue. in partnership with CII right confederation of indian industry new delhi and it took place with the aim of aligning the perspective of indian industry with the uh, recommendations of b20 indonesia of course you all know this that g20 all the meetings and all the summits took place uh, in indonesia in 2022 and next year it will all the summits all the meetings will take place in india and during this conference uh, dialogues were held in four areas trade and investment energy sustainability and climate digitization and finance and infrastructure all right so that is all and remember this conference has been organized in collaboration with cii option b is the correct answer moving ahead to question number 5 very very important question ministry of women and child De development has organized national conference on skilling in non traditional livelihood for girls which is named as betiya bane kushal right betiya means daughter betiya means daughter and kushal means skilled right it was organized on the occasion of international day of girl child which is observed every year on 11th of october under which scheme so the question is under which scheme this was organized it is an easy question i believe aapko iska answer pata hoga so betiya bane kushal it is a, a national conference on skilling and non traditional livelihood for girls has been organized by ministry of women and child development headed by smriti irani and he's all uh, she is also the minister of minority affairs and her lok sabha constituency is amethi which is in uttar pradesh right and this has been organized to ensure girls building their skills and enter the workforce in diverse set of professions like stem right and uh, stem is the area where the girls are underrepresented so it, to ensure that girls build their skills and enter workforce in in the area of stem this national conference has been organized right it was organized under beti bachao beti padhao very obvious and during this event ministry of women and child development has signed various mous with ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship and ministry of minority affairs for skilling of young girls to provide or you can say for skill development of young girls various mous have been signed uh, during this event between the ministry of women and child development and ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship and minority affairs right so therefore the correct answer will be what option c beti bachao beti padhao <clears throat> moving ahead to question number 6 the 10th meeting of ua india high level joint task force on investments uh, took place in mumbai this was the first meeting of the jtf since the signing of india ua comprehensive economic partnership agreement in which year the task force was established right the question is very straightforward so remember it was the 10th edition of this meeting of ua india high level joint task force and it was established in 2013 to promote trade 
investment and economic ties between the two countries right for trade investment and economic ties between the two countries this joint task force was established in the year 2013 and this was the first meeting since the signing of india uae comprehensive economic partnership agreement now let's talk about uh, what were the discussions during this uh, during this joint task force meeting so both the countries have agreed that they are going to enhance the bilateral investment in key sectors like food security manufacturing infrastructure energy and technology both the countries agreed that the concerned authorities will explore establishment of efficient and integrated single window solutions and virtual trade corridors so both the countries will work towards developing a single window solutions regarding the trade investment and other things this will reduce the cost and time involved in trade and investment related procedures right the two sides reviewed uae's request with respect to providing tax incentives to the uae sovereign investment entities under the existing uae india tax treaty right dono side ne agree kiya hai ki jo uae ke sovereign investment entities hai unko tax incentive diya jayega under a treaty which is already uh, going on between the two countries right a mechanism will be created for carrying out bilateral trade in national currencies national currencies mein bilateral trade ho uske liye ek mechanism create kiya jayega and it was agreed that the indian side will provide the necessary support to uae fast track mechanism in india so there is a uae fast track mechanism which was established in 2019 by india to identify resolve and expedite expedite the issues faced by uae companies and banking uh, companies in india theek hai तो जो भी यूए की कंपनी या फिर कोई बैंक इंडिया में काम कर रहा है उसके जो भी पेंडिंग इश्यूज है उसको जल्द से जल्द खत्म किया जाए उसके लिए दिस यूएई फास्ट ट्रैक मैकेनिज्म वाज एस्टैब्लिश इन 2019 राइट एंड देयर वाज आल्सो वन यूएई प्लस डेस्क दैट वाज एस्टैब्लिश इन 2018 राइट एंड बोथ द कंट्रीज एग्रीड दैट सिमिलर इंडिया फास्ट ट्रैक मैकेनिज्म विल बी एस्टैब्लिश इन यूएई टू प्रोवाइड सिमिलर सर्विसेज टू द इंडियन कंपनीज वर्किंग इन यूएई ऑलराइट so that is all and the correct answer to this question will be option c guys 2013 was the year when this task force was established all right and now let's talk about question number 7 a lifestyle clinic has been inaugurated at armed forces clinic new delhi to provide advice on diet exercise and behavioral counseling for comprehensive preventive and curative care on lifestyle diseases you just have to name the clinic now this was launched by ministry of defense which is headed by mr rajnath singh and his lok sabha constituency is lucknow and remember the name of the clinic is once again sanjeevni option b is the correct answer right ab bahut sare sanjeevni ho gaye hain so you have to carefully look at the question which sanjeevni they are talking about okay question number 8 by which year india's geo special economy is expected to cross 60000 crore at a growth rate of 12.8% and to provide employment to more than 10 lakh people mainly through geo spatial startups so this was announced by dr jitendra singh who is the minister of science and technology and the minister of earth sciences so this year is 2025 option a is the correct answer question number 9 with which country government of india has signed an mou to improve the availability of mop what is this mop it is muriate of potash which is simply potassium chloride for the farming community in india and boosting indigenous production of various grades of complex fertilizers in the country so this mou has been signed with a company from germany option d is the correct answer and the last question for today which ministry or ministries has launched an online portal for handicraft artisans for allotment of stalls to handicraft artisans in various marketing events organized by the ministry without any human interface right so you must be uh, you must get confused between ministry of these all these ministries right because we are talking about handicraft artisans to teeno hi ho sakte hain but remember it is the ministry of textiles which has launched this portal all right so that's it for today's session guys i hope all the questions and their explanations are clear if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching goodbye take care and god bless